In this video, we are going to discuss about the differentiability of vector functions. So we will just prove some properties. So suppose I have u bar, v bar and w bar, which are differentiable functions, differentiable vector functions of one variable. Then uh, we have to find a derivative of the scalar triple product of u bar, v bar and w bar. So what is the scalar triple product, the derivative of the scalar triple product? Now uh, let's try to find it. So we know that the if th if you have three vectors a bar b bar c bar, then the scalar triple product is obtained by taking a bar cross b bar. So this is a vector, and then you dot it with the third vector c bar. So this is the scalar triple. So this will be a vector. This c bar is also a vector, and if you take the dot product of the two vectors, you will get the you will get a scalar right so this is the scalar triple product so we have to use this now so what is the derivative of u bar v bar w bar so it is nothing but the derivative of u bar cross v bar dot w bar and in the previous lecture we have studied about what is the derivative of the dot product in the previous class? So it is first vector as it is u bar cross v bar dot the derivative of the second vector dw bar by dt plus the derivative of the first vector the d by dt of u bar cross v bar and then I will dot it with w bar. So which is equal to u bar cross v bar is as it is dot dw bar by dt is also as it is plus here i can again use the derivative of the cross product which is done in the previous class so which is u bar cross dv bar by dt plus du bar by dt cross v bar and then I have a dot w bar as it is. So this is done in the previous lecture. You can see that. So which is u bar cross v bar dot dw bar by dt plus u bar cross dv bar by dt dot w bar plus du bar by dt cross v bar dot w bar and this is nothing but the scalar triple product of u bar v bar dw bar by dt plus the second part is the scalar triple product of u bar dv bar by dt and w bar and the third is the scalar triple product of du bar by dt, v bar and w bar. So we have proved that this is nothing but the derivative of what? The scalar triple product of u bar, v bar and w bar. So this is the solution of our question. Okay. So you, see, you will observe that in the first scalar triple product, u and v are kept as it is. You find the scalar, you find a derivative of w bar. In the second, u and w are kept as it is, you find a derivative of v bar. In the third, v and w are kept as it is, and you find the derivative of the first person. So, this is how you find a de the derivative of the scalar triple product. Right now, we will find the derivative of the vector triple product. So, let me write it as u bar v bar cross w bar. Now, what is this? What is this equal to? So, I want to compute this. We'll again use the same product rule. So, d by dt of u bar cross v bar cross w bar will be equal to. So, this is the uh, u bar as it is cross the derivative of the second person d by dt of v bar cross w bar plus 
then du bar by dt cross the second person as it is, which is v bar cross w bar. And now this also, again, I can use here product rule. So remember, you cannot change the order, which was done in the previous lecture. V bar cross dw bar by dt. Do not change v bar, order of v bar and w bar plus dv bar by dt cross w bar plus the last person, this person is as it is. You cannot do anything here. So du bar by dt cross v bar cross w bar, right? And then I can write this as u bar cross v bar cross dw bar by dt plus u bar cross dv bar by dt cross w bar plus du bar by dt cross v bar cross w bar, right? So this is the derivative of what? So this is the answer and it is a derivative of the scalar, the vector triple product. What is it? u bar cross v bar cross w bar, right? Again, here you observe that in the first part, u and v are kept as it is. In second part, u and w are kept as it is. In the third part, v and w are kept as it. And then you find the derivatives of the independent components. Here I'm finding the derivative of w, here I'm finding the derivative of v, here I'm finding the derivative of u, okay? So this is how this uh, vector, the derivative of the vector triple product is obtained, okay? Now we will uh, move on to one simple exercise which you can solve using this. So let me just do one example exercise. So I have to, if I'm given that uh, u bar cross d2 u bar by dt square, suppose this is equal to zero, then I have to show that d uh, that u bar cross d u bar by dt is a constant vector, okay? So this is what I'm supposed to solve. I'm supposed to prove this. So if you want to prove something is a constant vector, okay, how will you show that some, some quantity is a constant vector? So let me just write some remarks here. So if, uh, if the derivative of the vector function df bar by dt is equal to zero. This means that the derivative of f1i plus f2j plus f3k is the zero vector, okay? And the zero vector is nothing but zero i plus zero j plus zero k. This means that the derivative of f1 is zero, right? first component, the derivative of f2 is 0, the derivative of f3 is 0. So df1 by dt is 0, df2 by dt is also 0, and df3 by dt is also 0. So all the three com components derivatives are 0. This means f1 must be some constant c1, f2 is some function which is constant c2 function, f3 is a scalar function which is constant. So this means that my f bar, which is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k will become what? It will become c1 i plus c2 j plus c3 k, which is a constant vector, right? So this means that the conclusion of this remark is that if the derivative of the vector function is equal to zero, okay, then that vector function f bar has to be what? Has to be a constant vector. Okay, so this is how you show that some vector is a constant vector. Uh, and here this trick I'm going to use to solve this problem. So u bar cross du bar by dt square is given to be zero. So this is given to us. So let me let a zero bar, okay, which is given. I have to prove that u bar cross du bar by dt is a constant vector means I have to show that the derivative of this person 
will come to be equal to what should come to be zero okay so let us find the derivative of this person and show that the derivative of this is zero so let me calculate so now my solution actually starts here okay so d by dt of what is the d by dt of u bar cross du bar by dt if i show that this is equal to zero it means this person will become a constant vector right by above remark so we know the product rule of derivatives so it is u bar cross d by dt of du bar by dt plus du bar by dt derivative of the first person cross second person as it is du bar by dt right this is looking like what this is looking like a vector a bar is cross vector a bar and we know that any vector cross product with itself is what is zero bar so the second component will go away so this will be just u bar cross d2 u by dt square because you are having derivative two times of u bar right but it is given to us that this answer u bar cross d2 u bar by dt square is equal to what zero bar so this is given to us and this component is already zero so finally you are getting what you are getting zero bar what is zero bar so the derivative of u bar cross d u bar by dt is equal to zero therefore the d by dt of u bar cross d u bar by dt is equal to zero bar and therefore by our remark we can say that u bar cross d u bar by dt has to be a constant vector let's say it at the c bar so this this proves this exercise